take that fresh air in, Capcom. It's a hell of a lot better than the shit that you've been huffing as of late. Ever since you decided that you want to go and make bad decisions, thus shoving your heads up your own asses, and taking in all of the sights and sounds and the offerings of that stuffy, sweltering hot fudge tunnel you call your ass, it's not exactly going to be all that great after a while and kind of loses its charm. But now that you're back to reality and deciding that you want to make good decisions, well, I'm all for it, and I welcome you with open arms, because any time that a company that I love dearly is going to start making the right decisions that are good for them, and most definitely good for the consumer slash fan, then I'm going to support it as much as possible, because that's the only way that we see companies move forward than take several hundred fucking thousand steps backwards. So, in regards to all of this, it is actually all about Street Fighter V and what they plan on doing with it. Street Fighter V was announced and tons of people were excited about that game, but it's the way that they're going about all of their post-launch content. Now, typically we see downloadable content out the ass, day one DLC, on disc DLC, and 50 other iterations of the same exact fucking game. All you have to do is go and look at Street Fighter IV and you'll realize the error of their ways. And holy fuck, was it error filled. I can't understand why the fuck we needed 90,000 different versions of the same exact game and then shitloads of things like downloading outfits and music and stages and characters and you name it, it was being charged for and it was fucking ridiculous. No longer. That is going to be a thing of the past whenever it comes to Street Fighter V. You are going to be able to unlock and earn everything on your own. Optionally, you can still go and buy that if you don't feel like dealing with all that shit, if you don't have the skill for it, if you don't have the time for it. So optionally, you can buy it, but you can unlock and earn all of it, you know, the right way, the way that we grew up. Unlocking and earning shit by the sweat of our brow, sitting up late at night, just playing the living shit out of games all throughout the fucking summer, dealing with the sweltering heat, and you only have that one rinky-dink fan that you ended up getting from a fucking dollar store, and that thing blows about as hard as a fucking old lady whenever she's had her fucking goddamn pills. So, and no, I'm not speaking from any kind of past experiences or anything like that. <laughs> Seriously, though, this is all good news. All this is good news. This is the kind of shit that we've been wanting to see companies do for a long ass time. Give us the opportunity to earn and unlock all of this stuff. As a matter of fact, they've gone and done the right thing by saying that you will only need, brace yourselves, fucking clench those ass cheeks, you'll need only one disc. So we're not going to have a super version, an alpha version, an ultra version, an arcade version, a what the fuck, why does this even exist, but it's a nice d coaster disc version, maybe, possibly, set your fucking beer on it. All that. Gone. You just have one disc now. Finally. Fucking finally. So, it's kind of nice to think that all of this bitching and complaining and all, just pointing out all, all of the shitty things that they've been doing over the years has somehow kind of resulted in, and also it might help if their fucking cells are taking a plunge. Ah, there's always that. Vote with your wallet. I've been saying it for years. But seeing all of that, I mean, you, you can't ignore that much flack being tossed your way. Now it seems as though they're trying to go and do the right thing. And as a matter of fact, to be honest, especially if you compare them to a company like fucking Konami, Capcom's kind of been doing the right thing. I mean, we've had the Resident Evil remake come out. We've had this. We've had Strider. I'm still waiting for a collection of all of the Phoenix Wright games on console. That'd be fucking nice. God damn would I love that. But this right here, this is kind of shit that I want to see. As a matter of fact, if a company as big as Capcom is willing to go and do this, I hope that other companies decide to follow suit. I hate waiting for the potential, maybe, if possible, Game of the Year edition just to make sure that I get all the content rather than just a portion of it that I have to go and download it so I'm just paying through the fucking nose and end up charging my goddamn debit card upwards of like $120 so I can play the entirety of the game, which is re fucking ridiculous. And everybody knows that it's re fucking ridiculous. Hashtag re fucking ridiculous. Fuck it, why not? But again, this is all good news. So, no matter what it is that you're trying to go and get, you're going to be able to unlock it, and I love that idea. You know, people will play these games for hours and hours on end, day in and day out. 
So the likelihood of them being able to get the stuff or earn it or, or be able to look up, you know, well, where exactly do I have to go and what do I have to do and, and what amount of time with what character to be able to unlock this. People are going to be doing that shit all the time and considering that Street Fighter has a very strong, very vast, very large, very vocal community, this is one of the best things that you possibly could have done. And I can't see anybody ever having a problem with stuff like this. I mean, this is what we've wanted. So if anybody's angry about the fact that they're not going to be charging you for all the shit that they did charge in the past, and you can be mad about the past, or you can be happy about the prospects of a positive future. Which, I'm going to go with the latter of the two. Most fucking definitely. So, with that announced, and that said right there, we can go and say, Capcom, good fucking job. Good on you, because this is kind of shit that we want to see more often out of you. Because I don't want to be angry all the time. I don't want to have to give you a double fucking middle finger salute. You know, I want to be able to say, I'm going to buy all your games, because growing up, you've always been my favorite third-party company. You so happened to be the company that was doing lots of stupid shit for a long-ass time. But continue down this route, and things might even be the same again. Who knows? We could see fucking Onimusha and Darkstalkers and, like, Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins and all sorts of other shit out there. Maybe another Strider game. I like that last Strider. Seriously, it was fucking awesome. Anyway, opinions, thoughts, feelings, comment box, you already know what to do. Clickety-click-click-click or tappity-tap-tap-tap. Who the fuck knows? I don't know if you're on mobile or if you're on a desktop. So, this is Alpha Mega Sin. As always, Nerds, Nerdettes, and Gamers Game. The fuck on.